the Lagos State Government is set to launch a new resident identification card. It comes with new and improved features that allow users board a ride, make purchase, apply for loans, among others. This was disclosed by the General Manager of Lagos State Resident Registration Agency, Dr. Ibilola Kasumi, in an interview with PLOS TV Africa in Lagos. Our correspondent, Love Ikukoyedoku, tells us more in this report. Lagos State plays a pivotal role in the Nigerian economy and as the nation's commercial nerve remains the focal point of economic activities. The state government estimates the population at 17.5 million, although the National Population Commission of Nigeria put the population at over 21 million in 2016. With an ever-increasing population, the introduction of the new resident identification card couldn't have come at a better time than now. Why we were doing this in Lagos State is so that we can plan adequately. So we take your demographic um, data, that's taking all your bio data, your name, um, gender, and um, just identify you and give you a unique identification. She described the project as first of its kind in Africa. She explained that the card came with 28 applets, including banks, shopping malls, and the like. Eases your access to government services. So right now we're speaking with other government agencies, like the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme as well, that would have an applet on board. The pensioners would have their unique identification as well. So it helps the government to identify people that... Um, deserve or require benefits. So you can use it for payment in any place where they're using the POS, on any POS terminal. However, the new resident smart card does not invalidate the old Lazaro card. There's a validation portal where you can go to and once you click on the validation portal, it gives, there's a guideline on how you can update your records. So what we want is for proof of life, we need to know that you're still in existence, one. Number two, you need to update your records because certain information may have changed about you. Kasimu said residents can register for the new cards at any of the 57 local governments and local council development areas of the state. She also disclosed that the government has also partnered 16 private sector companies to make the exercise faster and more seamless. The first set of the cards is to be launched by the end of March 2022 in Lagos State. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.